Hello, I'm Jay from TechForce and today I'm going to show you how to back up your data to cloud using Veeam, your own software, Veeam Backup and Replication. So you can back up your entire VMs or your data inside the VM to cloud. You need to get the cloud storage from some uh, provider, for example, like ourselves in UK. If you're in UK, we can help you with that. And good thing with Veeam and the cloud storage is you could actually implement a disaster recovery solution as well, depending on how much, uh, how, um, yeah, how much time you, you can afford without having your servers when something goes wrong. Um, it's not a true disaster recovery solution, but it can. It, it's, it's a good workaround. It save you. Uh, it will save you a ton of money. But let's see how to save your data in cloud, right? So first of all, you need a Veeam software and a cloud storage. That's it. Simple and an internet connection, of course. So um, you go into backup infrastructure and you need to add the service provider. This is where we will provide you the details with our storage as a service service. So um, for example, right, let's add a new service provider here. So let's, I have some details already, right? That's not the details. So let's go back a bit. Right, there you go. I have some details here. So I will just, I just need to modify little bits and pieces there. Um, so UK West and the server name is different as well. And click, uh, leave the rest defaults and click next. And you need username and password here. Uh, which again we will provide you or your chosen cloud service provider will provide you the details um, so I have already added before so I will pick them from um, the drag down uh, list and I would say apply it is very 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 simple as simple as eating a banana so here in this case we have assigned 300 gigs of storage for our user so that's why it's showing 300 but if the user needs more we could increase it we can decrease it it's just it's a knob if you need more you just turn the knob up if you need less you turn the knob down that's the good thing with cloud storage and you, there is no capex investment at all so um and then you click ok apply and that's it, done. I mean, done, my friend. So here, here is the cloud service, the, the service provider we added. So once you add the service provider, you go and you create a new job. Ideally, most people tend to um, have a backup copy on site and then copy that backup to the cloud. So it's a copy backup, no, backup copy job. But let's let's create a backup job itself. You can actually, you know, um, you you go here and you pick a VM you like to um, back up. I prefer to back up the whole VM, and I prefer to do reverse incremental as well. So, so here it is, and a whole VM, and then uh, you pick the repository here. So repository, I added this one just now, so it should show 300 or maybe um, maybe a little bit less. There you go, uh, 300 GB it's showing us and you click next, next, next and job finished. And depending on your connection, it will take, and uh, depending on amount of data your VM has, it will take some time. That's it, simple. And when you back up the entire VM, and when when something goes wrong uh, for your disaster recovery, you just give us a call, and we will restore the whole VM to Azure, Microsoft Azure, and we will set up the VPN, side-to-side -side VPN, 
between wherever you are and the Azure and within within few 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 minutes or a couple of hours depending on how big is the VM you are back in business so you don't need expensive um, secondary hardware to have the de disaster recovery setup and stuff like that so it's it's that simple and um, yeah if you're looking for this service please give us a call um, and I hope I have left you better than I found you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.